In this video I will show you how to create LODs for your models in 3D Max. To do that, just download the little program, you can find the link in the description, and create your model in 3D Max. After that, go to Max Script, Run Script, and then run the LOD creator. Now this little window should appear here. Now here we can ch change some values. So just select the tree, then go to Word Percentage, and type in any value you like. I will type in 70. Because now, when you click on to generate, you can see that it has minus 30% vertices. So this tree has minus 30% vertices, minus vertices than the base mesh tree. So now just click on to the mesh and name it LOD3 because we will create three LODs. Now click a second time onto the tree, type in let's say 30, generate, rename it so to LOD2. Click on uh, onto it another time, let's say 7, and generate. And that's it. Now we've created three LODs level. So this is the base tree mesh. So our base level, when you're very near to the tree, you can see that here. This is the lowest LOD level. So with the lowest vertices percentage. This here is the middle LOD level, and this, is, this here is the high LOD level. So just select them now, click on to move, and place them at the zero origin. So zero, zero, and zero. Now select all of them, go to group, group, and OK. Now go to utilities, to more, and then you can find level of detail. Double click onto it, and down here, just click on to create new set. Now here you can see all three LODs levels. Okay, now we scale it up a little bit. You don't have to do that, but I'll scale it up, because my tree is a little bit small. Wrong. Scale 800, 800, 800, and move. Okay, now just export it at, as a FBX file. So go to this here, export, desktop, let's say. Let's call it Baumlaub, save, and here check smoothing groups, and okay. Now that's it. Now go into UDK. And there you will see that we have created our three LOD levels. Okay, now go to import, right click, import, choose your tree, um, where is it, here, and then check the import mesh LODs. So enable this, import mesh LODs, and then OK to all, yes. And now this will take a while to import it. So let's wait. Dum dum dum, come on. <clears throat> okay. Now double click onto the static mesh editor, and as you can see down here, you have three three stages of materials. So you can choose so you could choose each material for each LOD, for each LOD state. So the first one is the basic material, the second one is the, the, the high LOD material, the third one is the middle LOD material, and the last one is the lowest LOD material. So you can choose a, any materials you like, for example, for the first tree, so the base mesh, you could choose a very high, high quality texture, and for the last one you could choose any very low quality texture to save performance. So now we will add our materials here. I've created one here. So text log mom. And I'll just add it. So that's the first one. Let's wait. Then add it to the second one. Oops, second one. And third one. And this one. Now type in up here at type here to search, type in LOD, and now you find the LOD distance radio. Here you can choose in which distance all the LOD steps should be shown. So now it's at one, but I will recommend you to do it to let's say five. And now just write out, place the tree into your level. And now you can see it. Very high LOD level. When you go back, can see, gets much worse. 
what do we say if LOD is? Or performance. So now we can see the, the, the last LOD level, so the worst tree of all. Now when we go near, da -dum, da -dum. and that's the high credit level. So thank you for watching and until next time.